Hi guys! Today we are doing something a little different for me. I have subscribed to a new subscription box and I'm super excited about it. It is called the Lumi box. So I subscribed to the base box, there's also a premium box, but for the first time around just because it was so new and I hadn't heard of it before and I was afraid that it was going to be a scam, but I really wanted to try it. So I subscribed to the base box, which is $49 and you're supposed to get four full-size makeup products to the value of over $140, even though you're only paying $49, which is pretty amazing if you ask me. I've always been a sucker for like a lucky dip sort of thing, so I thought I would give it a go. And here we are <laughs> with my Lumi box. There's also a premium box that is $99, and I think it's you get up to the value of $250. I will let you know and I'll put the link in the description box as well for the website just in case you wanted to give it a go as well if you like what you see but I just wanted to show you what I got in my first box I've done most of my makeup already as you can probably tell I'm just missing a few items that are in here that I thought I'd do with you there's also some hair care in here as well that I haven't used yet but I will let you know when I do start trying it I'm trying to finish off a few oils that I currently have at the moment so it might take me a little while, but I will update you as soon as I start using it, using it and if I notice any changes to my hair. Oh, there's also skincare that I haven't tried yet as well, but I will do the same with that. Anyway, let's get into this. It comes with a little thank you card from Lumi Box. It tells me what number of box I got and what items are in my box, which I'm just going to put on in the order of the card. So the first item is the Sugar Line and Shine eyeliner pencil and sharpener which is valued at $24 it's just in the color black I opened the box before and I couldn't close it because of the sharpener but anyway I'm gonna chuck this on Oop. <laughs> got it it's meant to be a super soft waterproof creamy eyeliner pencil that delivers excellent coverage is infused with jojoba oil and vitamin E it glides on smoothly for easy fluent application and it's a long wear formula and it says it will not smudge or budge, so let's see how we go with this then. There we go, so that's all done now. As you can tell from the look of my eyes, it is a pretty pigmented eyeliner. I did have to push sort of, not hard, but like not it wasn't I didn't use a super light hand to get it this dark and I did go over it a few times but it does come off and so far it feels comfortable and my eyes don't feel itchy I actually have quite sensitive eyes so sometimes my eyes react quite quickly to eyeliner so we'll see how I go with this one but so far so good I like the color nice and black as usual I usually use black eyeliner on my waterline and tight line anyway so the next product is the Bella Pierre cosmetics banana setting powder which is the most expensive item in the box at $37.95. It looks like this, quite fancy, and it's a, a yellow setting powder, so these are meant to like tone down purple sort of colours in your skin. I think maybe red as well, but it's meant to like help out with like your under eye circles as well, which I actually have reasonably dark under eyes. But anyway, let's give this one a go. Let's just stick it out here. Tend to sometimes make messes with these ones. Ooh. Okay, that comes out. I would recommend taking out the um, sifter whilst you're taking off that sticker because that's a damn sticky sticker and it just went everywhere. Um, okay, I'm just going to take a powder brush and do that in here. Clean off those edges and pop this on. Get it out of the towel. I actually quite like that. I think it gave me a beautiful finish to the skin, just under my eyes. I kind of put it everywhere, if you didn't notice. It hasn't, like, tinted my skin or anything like that. I'm not sure if I notice it covering up my dark circles any more than I already had. But I feel like I can't even really see my pores or anything like that at the moment. I think it looks really nice. As like a setting powder I'm not quite sure about the um oh kind of looks a little bit better under my eyes I think maybe it's like neutralize the purple a little bit maybe I need to use a bit more but 
we'll leave it at that for today. Anyway, the next product is the 8-in-1 brand Nourishing Moisturizing Cream. It is an argan oil, keratin, panthenol, and vitamin E soothing cream, and it has thermal protection. So it's for your hair. I haven't tried it yet, as I said before. <laughs> But I'm very excited to use it. I think it's just kind of like a normal hair treatment that you put in when your hair's like after you've washed your hair and you've gotten out and your hair's still a bit damp. I'm really excited to try it actually. I've never heard of this brand before, but I'm hoping it's good. And this one is valued at $17.30. It's actually a decent sized bottle as well, like 200 mils. It feels kind of heavy. I will let you know how I go with this one. And the next product is the Wet n Wild Twin Pack Eyeliner. Uh, which retails for $15.95 but actually that product was left out of my box so I didn't get it so I don't have it today. I did contact the Luby Box company. I was a bit worried with how they'd respond because obviously I'd never heard, like dealt with them before and this was the first time I'd bought, bought one of their products uh, but they were absolutely lovely. They responded to my email within six minutes which is amazing and I emailed them at 9 30 at night as well they responded like six minutes later which is pretty insane considering that's out of business hours and the fastest I think I've ever had a response from any customer service at any like site or anything ever so it's absolutely amazing and they've been so lovely to deal with they've been incredibly polite and they were so apologetic and they were just so helpful with this so if you've heard of Lumi Box and you're worried about it being a scam at all or anything like that it's definitely not and the people are lovely to deal with and I think they only started in August so it's definitely worth a look if you're interested I've been a guinea pig for you so you know if you want to give it a go <laughs> so it gives you accessories as well I forgot to mention that in the opener and the next product is R&R Boutique Earrings valued at $19.95 so they come in a cute little little satchel baggy thing and they look like this I actually really like them I think they look pretty retro but I kind of love that like they have like a sort of 70s 70s vibe so they've got like these little hoops with these beads in it I should have worn them today really I don't think they'd be like real gold or anything I don't really have much information on them but obviously they're not gonna be real gold if they're only $20 but yeah they look really cute I do have really sensitive ears though so I'm not quite sure if I'll be able to wear them or not like my ears get really itchy if I'm not wearing I think it's sterling silver or stainless steel one of the SS's I can wear either it's obviously gold but like these are Pandora I think they're yeah they're sterling silver I've been wearing them for god like two years straight now I do take them out every now and again but they're really hard to get in anyway anyway that's another story for another day. The next product is an eyeshadow. So it is this Space Case eyeshadow in the color Gold Base. It's $13.50 and it's absolutely like adorable packaging. And it's a really nice color. Oh, I opened it before, but now I can't open it again. There we go. You can see the little UFO on it. I'm just gonna see, I'm gonna swatch it. pretty light like a goldy color but you can see that it's really lovely you can blend it out really well as well I'm gonna use a fluffy brush and just pop this all over my lid for today to give me a nice glow <laughs> There we have it. I just used my finger to get a bit more payout just on the lid because I just wanted it to be a bit thicker but I actually really like that. It's a beautiful gold colour. It's very like subtle but very nice. I feel like this would be really good as like an eyeshadow topper just because you can really like brush it out and make it really quite subtle if you wanted to as well. But also it works as an eyeshadow as you can tell. The next product is an Eye Heart Revolution product. It's one of the Praline palettes. It has a blush and a highlight, so I will be blushing and highlighting with this palette. This retails for $10. Just go into this. It's a very glowy blush, but I like that. It was really beautiful. Ooh. Usually I do highlight first. Forgot today. Ooh. This is super nice. I really like this. This is only the second revolution blush and highlights that I've ever used but I really like them I think they give really good payoff like definitely really good payoff like look at that beautiful and they have like such nice colors too what do we think 
I like it. So the last product of the day is the Formula 1006 Bye Bye Blackheads. It is uh, a chin, forehead, nose, pore strips. And they've got volcanic ash and witch hazel. So obviously these are like strips that you put on your, you stick on your face and then rip off. And they come in different shapes, you can see. There's the nose one, forehead strip and chin strip. So you get 12 strips in total. Oh no, that's a lie. You get 18 strips in total. So you get six of each of the forehead and chin strips and you get six of the nose strips as well. I will let you know how I go with these. I have not used blackhead strips in ugh, 10 years. Maybe not that long, but I'm actually a bit scared because I remember them being slightly painful. So we'll see how we go with this. I'm not the best at like ripping things off my skin, like band-aids or wax strips or anything. I have a very low pain tolerance. I'm like a weakling really, unfortunately for me. I'm just gonna go and quickly finish off my makeup because that's the end of the box and I'll be back. There we go guys, all done with that. My opinion on this box so far is pretty good. The customer service is amazing, as I said before. So far, the products are really exciting. For the next month already, for the October box, I have decided to upgrade to the premium box. So that's $99. And I think it's up to the value of $250. Or it starts at the value of $250. I'm not quite sure. The link will be in the box below for the website. And you guys can check it out if you're interested at all. So don't quote me on anything. This is not sponsored at all or anything like that. I am just I just thought I'd buy this box because I was interested in it. I've always been a sucker for a subscription box. I had I got Bella Box for a good year or so, I think. I was subscribed to that. And that was good. And it was a lot cheaper than this. I understand that this is a more expensive option. But I think you get, with Bella Box, it was like a lot of small travel-sized items. Whereas this, it's full-size items, which I really like. Because I, with like the little products, it's just like so much. And I don't know. I just feel like I got too many little sachets of things and stuff that I never used but it was a good box and that often let you select things as well which brings me to for the next month in the premium box you can actually select one of the products that goes into your box which I'm really excited about which is pretty much the whole reason why I subscribed to the premium box because there's a product that I really want so hopefully I'll get in fast enough and I'll be able to select that product for my box but we'll see how we go. So far I've only received one box from them but I really like it. They were so easy to deal with as well with like the error that came in my box or that what was missing from my box. Also, so I paid $49 but the items come to the value of $148.64 which is almost $100 or like pretty much exactly $100 more than I spent on the box and even minus the item that was missing the value still comes to $132.69 which is it's amazing it's still a lot more than I paid for the box so I'm very excited to continue getting these I'm not sure how long I'll get them for because like, there's the issue of, you know, you get too many products. But I think also it's a great way to find new brands and to find new products and just to experiment with things. And it's also like exciting getting like random things in the mail once a month as well. But yeah, I will keep doing these videos for as long as I get the boxes and I will let you know how I go with them all. But so far, so good, I think. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the products, let me know and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And I'll also pop the link for the website down below and they do have an Instagram and a Facebook as well and I've noticed they are very active on their Instagram in the last few days. So yeah, check them out and see if you like them. But anyway, <laughs> hopefully I will see you all soon. Get it infused with jojoba oil. It's jojoba oil, isn't it? It's infused with jojoba, jojoba. Ah. Oh. Ah. Hello. Come here. She ran away. She didn't want to be in my video today. It is an argon, argon. It has, but yeah, so far I, let's get the shit out of me. 